So I want to start this talk and uh, uh, with, a, with a little overview of the developing world um, and, and the major problems that we face uh, conventionally, the sexy problems, the problems that we uh, discuss in, in, our, in our drawing rooms, in our, in our coffee table conversations, you know, problems like corruption, um, illiteracy, Imran Khan ki shadi ho ki nahi. Um, and even if the media makes you believe that, you know, there is no future, that we are doomed, uh, the fact of the matter is that hundreds and hundreds of thousands of individuals are working on it. There are millions of dollars being spent on trying to, you know, make this world a better place. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the significance of the insignificant. The, the thing that we don't really think about, but at, at, at some points in life, always come across and say, yaar, is kaam ka kya hoga? Uh, you know, when you come across an image like, for example, um, this, and you, and you think, hey, you know, you have this amazing 12-year-old girl, and you have a whole generation or, or, or a whole uh, nation of people hating on her, you, you get really confused and you're just like, how can you do that? How can you, and frankly speaking, you can't really change the way they think. So, so that brings you to a very important problem, that problem that nobody's tackling right now, the problem that uh, a whole lot of developing nations are facing these days, the problem of ideology, and it's the exact same reason why we have the major problems like extremism. Um, so I want to I wanna start with the story of uh, this guy called ah Aftab Ahmed Masood. Now he's a kid from uh, South Waziristan, lives in D.I. Khan. Um, he uh, has absolutely no interest in politics, definitely no, no interest in what's happening in Pakistan. He lives in South Waziristan, it's a, it's a federally administrated territory. And uh, unlike you and I, uh, you know, we, he is not really in tune with what's going on in the world. Uh, he actually got inspired in the 2013 general elections, even though he had no interest, to go out and cast his vote traveling 500 kilometers by watching a small video. आज मैं आपको बताता हूं कि पाकिस्तान दुनिया की बेहतरीन कौम कैसे बनी आज से सत्तर साल पहले हमारा मुल्क अपनी तारीख के सबसे नाजुक मोड़ से गुजर रहा था मुल्क में हालात काफी खराब थे हर बंदा हकूमत वक्त को उन तमाम हालात का जिम्मेदार ठहराता था हालात कुछ ऐसे थे जिनका हम इस दौर में सोच भी नहीं सकते जैसे के तब एक वक्त आया कि अचानक कौम ख्वाब गफलत से बीदार हुई और उनको यह एहसास हुआ कि इन तमाम हालात के जिम्मेदार तो वो खुद ही हैं। चनाचे उन्होंने अपने साथ साथ दूसरों को भी जगाया और हर फर्द ने अपने बुनियादी फर्ज को अदा करते हुए अपने वोट का सही इस्तेमाल किया इस तरह जिम्मेदार और ईमानदार नुमाइंदे चुने गए जिन्होंने ईमानदारी से अपना फर्ज निभाते हुए एक काबिल और मुहब वतन वजीर आजम मुंतब किया और बाद इसके ईवान बाला के मेम्बरान भी चुने फिर वजी आजम ने अपनी एक काबीना मंत की जिन अफराद ने अपनी अनथक कोशिशों से तमाम माशरती मसाइल को जड़ों से खत्म किया और यू हमारा मुल्क तरक्की की राह पर गामजन हुआ जिसके आज तुम्हें और मुझे फखर है ये वो कहानी कि पाकिस्तान किस तरह दुनिया की बेहतरीन अकवाम में शामिल हुआ कुछ लोगों को एक खाब महसूस होगा लेकिन ये एक हकीकत है हमने अब तक जो सीखा है उस पर एक नजर डालते हैं एक आम आदमी की तरह आप अपने पसंद के आदमी को वोट के जरिए अपने हल्के या कौमी असम्बली का मेमर मुंतब करेंगे कौमी असम्बली के कुल मेम्बरान की तादाद तीन सौ बयालीस होगी जो मुख्तार जमातों के टिकट पर इलेक्शन लड़कर असम्बली में पहुंचेंगे कौमी असम्बली सदा अक्सरियत की बुनियाद पर कायद अवान यानी वजी अजम का इंतजाम करेगी जो मुंतक होने के बाद अपनी काबीना के जरिए मुल्क का इंतजाम चलाने का जिम्मेदार होगा यही तरीकेकार सूबाई असम्बलियों के मेमरान के चुनाव का होगा जो बाद में सूबाई वजी अला का इंतजाम करेंगे जो अपने सूबाई वजीरों के हमरा सूबे के नजम नस्क का जिम्मेदार होगा बाद में चारों सूबाई असम्बलियाँ अपने अपने सूबे के सैनट के मेमरान का इंतजाम करेंगी आखिर में आपको ये बताता चलूँ कि जिन नुमाइंदों को आप मुंतब करके इकतदार के एहवानों में भेजते हैं उनकी बुनियादी जिम्मेदारी ये है कि वो पाकिस्तान की रियासत और अवाम की बेहतरी के लिए ऐसे कवानीन बनाए जिनसे तमाम पाकिस्तानियों को बिना किसी इम्तियाज के तमाम बुनियादी हकूक हासिल हों मैंने अपनी पहली वीडियो में वोट न देने से पैसे रुपए के नुकसान का जिक्र किया था लेकिन इलेक्शन में आपकी अदम दिलचस्पी की वजह से अगर ना अहल लोग असम्बलियों में पहुँच गए तो मुल्क को नाकबिल तलाफी नुकसान पहुँच सकता है जिसकी तमाम तर्ज जिम्मेदारी हम सब पर आयद होगी मेरा नाम सैयद मजामिल हसन जैदी है और मैं ये अहद करता हूँ कि मैं इन इलेक्शन में भरपूर हिस्सा लूंगा और नेक काबिल और ईमानदार लोगों को असेंबली में पहुंचाने की भरपूर कोशिश करूंगा क्या आप भी मेरे साथ हैं
Now, this video was watched over 2 million times on Facebook. Uh, at that point in time, it was watched by one in every three Pakistanis on Facebook. Uh, so just, just to give you an idea of the power of social media in Pakistan. Now, at that particular point of time, we, we made this video uh, in an hour. We got a bunch of friends got together, as you can see, that that's my room. Uh, there was no production cost. There was absolutely just a concept that we came up with, and we decided to shoot a video out of it, and we, it got viral. Um, when you talk about social media and social, the, the, the power of social media, uh, the, the beauty of, of it all is that you can produce any content that you want and it, uh, it has the power of, you know, sort of connecting a whole bunch of different dynamics uh, of people together and, you know, sort of portray your idea all the way towards um, any other dimension. Uh -huh. Just to give you an idea, so we, when, when we talk about social change, you know, we think of Kony 2012, we, talk, we think of the Arab Spring, we think of big campaigns, women empowerment, things that will bring exponential level of change. What we don't see, and, and to be very honest, there are, there are nuclear physicists over here, there are people who have done quantum physics. My uh, niche, or what I have achieved in life, is I've spent five years wasting my time on Facebook. And that those five years, I have I have actually managed to learn a lot of interesting things about the social media and how how they can they are in line to bring a whole change in the very dynamics of how we perceive things. Now, right now, Pakistan uh, as as a nation, as a developing nation, with the GDP that we have, with the literacy rate that we have, we have 1.5 percent of our total population is currently using 3G and or smartphones. Um, with the projected uh, numbers uh, of, of Gartner, of all of these uh, companies, we're looking at, by 2018, we're looking at 40 million uh, 3G users in Pakistan. 40 million is, out of 250, that's one in every five people. That's one individual in every household in Pakistan who is connected to the digital media. Uh, now, think about these people who are uh, watching videos, who are playing games, playing apps, um, who are uh, reading blogs and see how the ideology that you can tap into. So right now, let's say a taxi driver um, in, in, in uh, uh, Court Machi or, or a guy who uh, gives you your coffee at Gloria Jeans. Right now, he has some really, really um, interesting ideas about how he sees life. And you're just sitting here thinking how can, and even if we talk about uh, education, you know, uh, these people, the, the upper generation, can't really be changed. Uh, that's where social media comes in, and with using the power of social media, you can actually change the whole, the way the whole population thinks. Uh, by the next five years, by the next ten years, there will be a whole shift of ideology, and it's already happening. Even though what we're doing is we're putting up content, regular status updates, photos, videos, and we're not even realizing the power that that, that particular content has. Now, the, the the point that I'm trying to make is. The change is already happening. Normally, when you talk about social change, you talk about you know, what the problem statement is and what we need to do about it. But with this particular uh, um, concept, you have, you have the, the change is already happening. The question is, which side are you on? Thank you.